Yeah, yeah, KCTV, what's up? We chillin' with your boy, Neighbor and Puzzle. We live from Ground Zero, Crenshaw and Slauson. I told you into the Crenshaw documentary on Karen Tibble TV, yeah. It's my area, this is where I grew up at. It's really like where I spent a lot of my time as a youth. Our, our neighborhood basically go from like Slauson to Florence. A lot of people got killed out here on these streets, right here on 63rd, Victoria High Park, Bryhurst. This building right here, we call these the cages. And this is where, you know, niggas are going to the back of these buildings and get put on the hood. Niggas would come back here and fight all day. You know, if you wanted to be from this shit, you had to come fight. And if you didn't know nobody and nobody respected you or you didn't, you didn't have that motor in you that they wanted to see, you got treated bad back here. When I signed my deal, I was fresh out of the county jail. Uh, I ain't had no expectations out the rap game. I was just like, you know, I got an opportunity, so I'm gonna go hard. I came in kind of raw. I came in gangbanging my area with all my homies in the video on Crenshaw and Slauson. I'm trying to create an ideal situation based on the era we live in, and it's 2013. We know the, the, the change that's taking place. We know the, the outlets and the connection and the, the reach that artists can have. And my thing is, I want to, I want, I want every penny I'm entitled to. I want as much percent as I'm entitled to, and I don't feel I'm wrong for that, you know. But I'm not against the major label at all. I think that it's smart people in labels. They specialists, you know. I think that they know the game best. It's just like you got to do your negotiations out here in the streets, so that you know you don't gotta pull no legs or do nothing too much to serve your interests properly, you know. I started off on the run. I signed my deal on the run. Went to Jamaica, came back to LA, went to jail, got out, and then went to New York and started what's going on right now. When I don't have nothing to say, I don't say nothing. I like, I like having something to say when I speak. My intention for a cover is not to represent my gang affiliation. That's not the intention of an album cover. You know, that's the intention of your actions in the streets, you know, or in a place where gang activity take place at. That's when you'll represent your gang affiliation. And I just took a page from like magazines. You look at every magazine logo from Time to Newsweek to XXL. What color are them logos? The logos all red. What color is the stoplight? It's red, because it's the most attention grabbing color. And I got nothing to do with gang banging, bloods or cribs. And I want to grab attention. So that's why it's red, and that's why I got on Crenshaw. In terms of me using it for the title of my project, I just think that it was one word that could sum up what I represent to this music right now. It's a foundation to my personality and my story is where it took place at. You know, if you grow up in LA, the, the gang banging shit was before you at this point, you know what I mean? So like, if you, if you, and from our generation or a generation after us, this thing was happening, already had the rules established, already niggas had feelings on both sides, emotions, killings, murders, loved ones lost, and then we was born. So this shit was already like two or three generations deep. At this point, it's about, it's about killings, though. That's all this shit is, is killing. It's about murder. Niggas is playing murder games. The mentality is the South Central state of mind. You ain't a real one until you kill one. You know, that's how niggas feel. Me and Drama, you know, since like 09, we performed at the Hip Hop Award. Drama was DJing, and I got to meet him and chop it with him. And I went to his studio, I did a record with him. Got with his producer, V12. And, uh, you know, Drama's just been an ally that show love. Every time I drop something, he, he, he support. Every time I go down south, you know what I'm saying, he reach out. So he was in Volcano. I walked into the restaurant, seen him, and we just started talking about what I had on the table. And he told me about the opportunity. And uh, I was like, well, when I'm ready, I'm gonna reach out. And so when I finished the project, I just hit him like, what's up, I got this music, what you wanna do? He like, let's go, shoot it. The stuff that I feel the streets need to hear, and that's like hot verses or, you know what I mean? Like content that's going excite the streets. I, I put that on Crenshaw. But the album is more about records and songs. That's like great records and great songs. I know they've been waiting. I know it's been a long time. They mad at me. They bashing me on Twitter and all that. But it's well worth it, though, man. Crenshaw, October 8th, 2013. Yeah.